All right, gang, so we got our brand new snap circuit boards here today. Let's go ahead and unwrap this and see what's going on inside. First thing we'll want to do is take a quick inventory of all the components to make sure we know what it is that we have in here so we can return it. So first thing I'm going to go over real quick is the manuals that come in the box. You will see as you go through here, there's the Snap Circuit Student Guide, which will stay in every box. We have the Teacher Guide. We'll take those out and leave them in the classroom. Electronic Snap Circuits. These are some of the projects that we can do. Uh, we have projects 512 through 662. Projects 306 to 511. <clears throat> Projects 102 to 305, you kind of get the gist of what's going on here, and 1 to 101 for the project book. So we probably will not leave all of these project books in each case, just because that's going to be a lot for you to have to mess with. There is six books here. We will use <clears throat> leave those in the case on an as-needed basis. Now I will take a couple close-up shots so you can see what all we have going on here. There's a couple different layers to this case. We have the top layer here, which houses a bunch of our resistors and transistors and switches. I'll get some detailed views of that. There is a foam layer that we'll pull out of the bottom. This houses a bunch of other components also. Uh, easiest ones to look at here are solar panel. So that's really cool. We've got a meter that's included with this and a couple of other things going on. Then if we look down in the bottom, we can see that we have the main plate, which we will be building all of our circuits on. And then we have the battery modules that fit down in here. So we will have to add batteries. So I have stacks of batteries that we will include with all of these kits. So you should have everything that you need. So let's get started and dive deeper into what we have going on here. Okay, gang, I'm gonna try and get into this without getting in the way too terribly much. You can see here is the top side of the <clears throat> case. And there's a place for everything and everything has its place, gang. So please be careful with this stuff and put it all back. If we just take a moment here real quick, I'm gonna grab the top one up here. And this is labeled RP. Now I looked at this, this is a photo resistor. But if we also look in the case, the case is labeled RP. So we want to make sure that we put RP back in the proper location when we're done with it. If I pull out this LED here, <clears throat> it has a D1 on it. And when you're building your circuits, it will be important to use the right component for the circuit, but also the top of the case has D1. So <clears throat> it will be easy to inventory this. That's the beautiful thing about these cases and why we bought these cases to use for class, because it will be very simple for you to go through and make stuff with these. If we pull out that center section, again, we've got our photo cell, which is B2, and you can see listed below that is B2. So this stuff will be fairly easy for you to identify and to put back in place. If we look at our uh, digital display that we have here it is listed as D7 and it has a large D7 printed on it so <clears throat> it's just awesome to see that how well snap circuits has went about making this stuff happen so let's take a moment we're gonna try to zoom into the bottom side of the case <clears throat> and you can see when you first open this up you will have all of the battery sections here in the bottom. This piece will be in here and it has some little things to hold it in place. So that way this stays in place and doesn't get tossed around. So you will want to make sure that it gets latched in there towards the bottom. There is a couple of small plastic detents here. So if it's not in the detents, then everything can fall around and please 
put the little plastic swivels back in place so that way it's held in place. So you do have to pull the circuit board base out in order to get to our snap circuit connectors. So our connectors are all here in this plastic bag over in the corner. And this is what you will use to connect all of the components of your circuit together. So let's go ahead and take a moment and build a quick circuit. So for this demonstration circuit class, I decided just to build the simplest thing possible. So I'm going to pop this stuff off of here real quick and start all over again and show you what was used to create this. Now, the battery pack gets locked down onto our base circuit. Simple as that. And then we will need to use connectors to put everything together. So any good circuit's gonna have a switch on it. So if I put this switch right next to my battery pack, then I can use the number two connector and connect my switch to my battery pack. So I wanted just the simplest of a load that I could use on here. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different things with this LED since that's what I chose to use. I'm going to put this LED so the arrow of it points from positive to negative. If you see on the battery pack, there is a plus sign there. That is the positive side of the battery pack to my switch. Again, another connector, my red LED, and then I am going to use this five slot connector to go back to my ground. So now everything should be good to go. I can hit the button and light up my LED. So maybe somewhat hard to see on camera, but the LED is working. Now, what if I was to have taken this LED and installed it backward? What do you think would happen? Some of you should know that answer, some of you may not, and that's okay, but I'm going to flip this LED over. So that way the arrow is pointing to the switch towards the battery positive side of the circuit. Now when I push the button, I get no light. So why is that? That's a question that you're gonna need to answer. So um, I will give it away for the benefit of this first video, as we have went over in class, hopefully at this point, an LED only allows current to flow in one direction. So, and this just happens to have a light emitting diode built into it, right? LED, light emitting diode. So diodes are actually the component that only allow electricity to flow one direction. All right, gang, now that you are done using your snap circuit for the day, please take and unhook everything from the board. Put your battery pack back into the case. So we will be removing our batteries at the end of the year, but as for now, you're gonna be keeping these in your possession and working with them uh, on a weekly basis you may leave the batteries in. Just make sure that nothing is loose and the contacts get touched inside of the case. So take your time, put the case away properly. Um, I do not care if all of the larger connectors get put back into the back. So it is kind of tough getting all this stuff put back in the back. Please put all of the small stuff in the bag anyway, so that way the small stuff doesn't get lost. <coughs> You will be responsible for these boards and anything that gets lost from them. But if you put that back in, clip it down, we can then slide the base for our circuits in there, clip it back into place. I put my switch and my resistor back in their designated slot and we can install our center section of foam and everything is good to go. So you will get this numbered with your book number on it. So whatever your assigned book number was is the snap circuit case that you are going to have. So any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and let me know. Enjoy.